Hey, you. Come here, come here, come here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Closed mouths do not get fed. If you, if you do not open your mouth for the utensil, ain't no nutritional food going to get inside. Hey y'all, it's your girl Tash 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 Shana, and I'm back with another motivational video so we can change energies and raise frequencies to help make this world a better place, to help make our world a better place, to help make this world a better place. Yes. If you're new here, my name is Tashana and I'm the founder of The Chosen One's Love. We give out motivational, inspirational, and informational videos as much as we can to help raise energies, frequencies, and vibrations to change mentalities and yes, help make this world a better place. Closed mouths don't get fed. So you have to understand you got to be the one to open your mouth to ask for the things that you need. Because nine times out of 10, the people around you are assuming you are okay because you showed up just like they showed up. You around just like they around. You doing the things just like they doing the things. So nine times out of 10, people assume you are okay or you don't need anything. That's why it is very important for you to open your mouth and speak up for yourself. If you need anything, if you want anything, if you're trying to get help because you can't do it all by yourself, you have to be the one to open your mouth because ain't nobody going to sit there and offer, 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 offer all the time or multiple people offer, offer, offer all the time. Nobody's going to do that when everybody is struggling out here. Everybody trying to make a way out of no way out here. So if you want help, you have to open your mouth and ask for help. Now, don't get me wrong. You have those super, super rare people out here that just love helping people that will just ask you if you need help. But again, those people are not going to sit there and ask you every single day. Now, if they love you and they have to be around you and they feel like your energy is changing or switching or you seem depressed or you have anxiety, even though you saying you OK. Yes, that person is then going to you sure you off. I noticed something is wrong with you. You don't have to lie to me. I'm here for you. I love you. I care for you. And you let that person know that they are safe and they are okay to open up to you and ask you for help. That's another reason why mental health is so bad in this country, because people can't sit down and talk to people. People don't know how to communicate. People don't know how to open their mouth and ask for things that they need. Testimony. I pick my daughter up from school every day at about 2.50. And the lady in the office said something to my daughter, like, you know, you need to get on the bus, girl, because people are trying to go home. Mind you, they don't walk out to school till three o'clock. And I know this because we've been at this school for years. And also, I know the principal really well. So my daughter told me and I'm like, well, well, dang, like why she couldn't say that to me? It made my daughter feel a little some type of way. But the way I shake them off and just let them know that, girl, that you Erase that out your head because she shouldn't even been talking to you. She's talking to me. And it's okay because this situation could occur. This situation could occur. This situation could be occurring. And she don't know that because why? Because she did not communicate with me, the adult. So I went into the school and I communicated with her. So I walked in. I said, hey, lady, could I pull you to a side really quick? She said, yeah. So we went into the office and we talked. And I said, well, Artica told me you said this. She said, I did. And I was like, but, and then the lady said, well, all she had to do was tell me that. And I'm like, well, she's eight years old. How is she supposed to articulate that? How is she supposed to even think about that talking to an adult? I said, you as an adult, you as the office lady, you should come talk to me if you have any problems with the way that I do things. It is not even Artica's decision or Artica can't even tell me nothing about that. So she proceeds to apologize and she's like, you're right. Cause I, I had to tell her like, you don't know my situation outside of here. You don't even know, you didn't even care to ask. And that's people's issue. People don't care to ask. People don't care to confront the issue. People don't care to open their mouths to ask for things that they need in order to help them or alleviate them. And so that's why I say closed mouths do not get fed, y'all. And besides, you will not get what you want if you don't ask. 
You won't get what you want if you don't open your mouth. You won't get what you want if you need help and you don't sit there and ask for help. But you might get what you want if you do ask. You might get what you want if you do open your mouth. It's a 50-50 chance if you do ask. It's a zero chance if you don't ask. So give yourself the courage that you need to muster up the strength and ask for help. To ask, to let people know that you do need attention, that you do need some affection, that you do need some intimacy, that you do need love, that you do want a husband, that you do want a wife, that you do want a career or some type of way to stabilize bringing money in. Like y'all have to understand that, yes, if you hurting, it's hard to open up. It's hard to be vulnerable, but that is exactly what you need in order to not be in mental turmoil and to be in mental friction to where you are mentally unstable and you ultimately end up hurting yourself or people around you. You have to start talking. Y'all got to start communicating. Communicating is a lost and a rare characteristics in our country. And we need to get it back, y'all. A lot of things that took place in this country and that don't make it right. But I can tell you that this country is trying to turn around for the better. But you have people in this country teaching evil, teaching evil across our radio stations, in our music, on our television programs, in our shows. You have to understand what low vibrational energies are and that they attract evil spirits and they attract evil things and no good energies and negative energies. And those energies get inside you. Then you start showing those characteristics like jealousy hate, negativity, just um, intimidation, um, callous, malicious, manipulating. Like you start mimicking those lower vibrational energies that cause evil, that bring negativity, that bring people to be down. You have to understand that you have the ability to remove and rebuke that from your life. You have the ability to raise your vibrations and your frequencies and your energy to be in high vibrational characteristics like happiness, joy, caring, love, positivity, um, helping people, being courageous, being smart, being having abundance, having prosperity, like all those are high vibrational things. You can have abundance and prosperity as far as fake debt notes in, have, in low vibrational energies, but you will not have the true prosperity, the true abundance, the true grace of God. You will not have the true gifts of the higher power, which is peace. Peace is the highest frequency vibration that you can reach. Enlightenment, peace. Love, joy, all those in the top 5%. And you will not have those if you don't work for those. And if you don't open your mouth and you don't ask for help to climb your letter to higher consciousness, to higher frequencies, to higher vibrations, to a, ultimately to a higher you, to a better you, baby, to, to a more functional, loving and caring and positive you and really, really, really have a happiness with inside of you. Can't nothing on the outside make you happy. That's how you know your happiness is fake. And all of that, all of that that you get, that you gain, ain't going to mean nothing when you get bored of it. You're going to get bored of going shopping. You're going to get bored of going on vacations. You're going to get bored of having all that money. That's why true happiness has to come inside, has to be inside first. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't let these people think that, you need to have this right now. You need to get this right now. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the small things. Enjoy the people you meet along the way. Enjoy the things that you learn along the way. Like have joy in every single moment. Joy, joy and positivity from all the things that you let go, that you dropped off of you, that you left behind on your way up. Those low vibrational things that you moved away from that you never thought you was going to stop being able to do, that you never thought that you was going to stop being able to be around. Okay? You can do it. You can change your life for the better. But it all starts with you opening your mouth if you need help, if you can't do it by yourself. If you need the construction, or if you need the instructions, if you need whatever you need to make you better, 
and to help you and to alleviate some of your mental stress, ask for that help. Go to somebody that you feel safe with. Go to somebody that actually is of love and shows love and ask for help. Because nine times, 10 out of 10, nine times out of 10, 10 out of 10, that person is going to stop what they're doing and help you if they are a child of God, if they are of love, if they are of high frequencies and vibrations. But that person also knows how to not be used. So don't try to use them. Ask for help. Get your help. Thank them. Step up and move on with your life. And never, ever forget where you came from and who helped you along the way. Because the journey, like I said, is what matters. So keep pushing and chasing y'all goals. Open your mouths because closed mouths do not get fed. And if you never open your mouth and ask, it's a guaranteed no. If you do open your mouth and ask, it's a 50-50 chance that you get what you want. With all that being said, I love y'all, and I hope y'all have a very beautiful, blessed evening. Mwah!